testing for COVID-19. Without waiting in line, the Food and Drug Administration authorized the first at-home rapid test. Wait News reporter Veronica Marshall is live in the newsroom. And Veronica, will this be available to everybody? Only those with a prescription, which is why one researcher I spoke to says this is not a game changer. When it comes to choosing between long lines at coronavirus testing sites or from the comfort of your own home, Daphne Gould and Rob Guariano say the choice is easy. Anything at home that's proven to work, absolutely 100% would do it. It would be convenient. The FDA made that a reality. Kind of. The agency issued an emergency use authorization for the first rapid at home coronavirus test. It's something Dr. Michael Mena has long advocated for. What we really need in the U.S., I think, is to make this immensely, um, uh, immensely sort of uh, uh, accessible and easy to use and get it into people's homes. But despite that, the Harvard researcher says this test doesn't go far enough. He says the newly authorized tests are expensive, hard to manufacture, and you need a prescription to get one. He feels a better solution is already out there. What I want to see is a test like this, this little thing that I'm holding here. That could be made at 20 million a day. Minna says if the paper strip tests were sent to every home in America and people use them even just once a week, we'd catch more asymptomatic cases and bring our numbers down. These tests can still, if we act appropriately starting today as a U.S. government, could still get us to have a much better Christmas. Dr. Minna says governors can step in, too, by declaring a state of emergency and using these paper test strips as public health screening tools. In the newsroom, Veronica Marshall, Wink News Now.